The Shabbos is getting a little earlier now, Baruch Hashem. So um, we're going to leave it tonight. So uh, just in case tomorrow gets a little tight. So let's look, let's see where we're at in the calendar over here. There's a lot to learn from this week's Parsha. There's a big package this week to uh, to open up. So we have Bereshis. Right, let's look at the text, let's look at the, the filing, the way it's filed in order. Here comes something called human, a man, and Adam comes into the world. You'll lead Isha, and who am I, what's going on over here? I'm coming from a place of vastness. How do I get myself together? How do I anchor myself? How do I breathe into myself? How do I start taking up space for real so I can generate space, I can generate light? Bereshis, there's a beginning. I have a beginning. Our source does not have a beginning. It goes all the way up to the top, no beginning, and kids. Lamata, we are in ta- we're in Lamata Sha'in, Lamata Yesharmana. There's nothing lower than from where we are. So here we meet. Because we are only way to look up is when I'm maxed out at Shakai. From that place I look up and that's where I can see Subaracious. When I recognize I have a boss, I have something that's higher than me, I become very small but I also become significant because once I recognize that there's something bigger than me and I am insignificant, I take up no space, that's when I become significant. Once I surrender to my, to my problems because my only problems are, my problems are only there because as large as my ego is, that's as large as my, as my, 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 my struggle is. When I surrender my ego, my struggle also gets smaller. I'm insignificant. And then from that place, I take up space. From there, we go into Nayakh. Nayakh is we're going through a proper cleansing. We're getting a little taste of it. It's a physical, it's receiving. We're, we're being structured, recycled, going through another process. Lech Lecha, we get instructions to go. We get instructions to move. Lech Lecha, Ma'artcha, we're being told how we get, how do I leave my old judgments behind? How do I get out from this package, from this? We are in a, in a, in a product that is physical, that is in Zman, that has a beginning and an end. But we're dealing with something that we need to capture that has no beginning, no end. So he tells, to the land that I'm going to show you. You're not going to understand it. You're not going to go to process this. You're not going to make sense of this because... The game is mem test. You have to go into nun. Once you pick that up, vayero, you start seeing. You see chachma. You start seeing what's going on over here. You start understanding that where I come from. You start understanding what to, to, where to find my spark. Just not to be fooled by the magician that's by the choshech, the nochesh that's just distracting me, but rather to to tap inside. And I'm learning that there's something more. Not to go forward. Chaya Sarah. Sarah. Mama Sarah comes and teaches us. Chaya Sarah v'tama Sarah. Life is death. Death is life. The sooner and the faster I can let go, that I can let my old habits die. Chaya Sarah, that's another spark. So here we are. We have many different sparks, many different igniters. And I can expire each and every one of them. As soon as I let go of one ego, another restriction, another restriction, that will give me life, that will spark my fire. That's Chaya Sarah, Atama Sarah, Chaya Sarah. Once I do that, total days, starting to see I'm born. Now I'm starting to, to take on some sort of a form, some, some form of a consciousness of significance. I'm taking up space. That is Tachel Sakavana, vastness. He has all the way up to so much vastness. He wanted specific Kavana, he wants Nakuda. He wants a point. Told us Yitzchak Yaakov. Told us Yaakov. El told us Yitzchak Avram. Avram told us Yitzchak. Av and Yere. We're starting to understand that we're not just animals. There's love. There's compassion. And then there's Gevura. I can control myself, taking control of this raging desires and all of that stuff. It's that. That's how real it is. That's that's where I need to be. Until we finally get to to to, to Vayetze. So yes, we finally get to go out.
I'm starting to walk. I'm on my own. I'm going to my way. I'm starting to go. I can go. I already know how to deal with this. I know not to be phased. I know that I know that he's everywhere. He's everything. I just need to surrender. He goes out from Be'er Shava. Be'er Shava is Hatoyer from Be'er Shava. Shatoyer Elyon and Nikar Be'er Shava. This is from the Ma'ar Naim. It's a famous. It's not just his line. This is where I see it. it comes from a place called Toyer Elyon. High consciousness, beautiful, connected, no judgment, just flowing, feeling it from the center of the chest, just connecting to a ball of light, purity. As he leaves, Be'er Shavu, I'm sorry, Vayelu Charana, he goes in Charana to Charan Af Shel 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 Oylem. Charan Af is we we left the place from Be'er Shavu, which is Toyer El Yona, from this Tachas Kisya covered and, and and even higher, just one Be'yichud, and we come into Charan Af in Velt. Here we are, 2020. What do you read that it says? Vayiv Gabamakim. And he gets, Vayiv is also like Paga, and he's like, whoa, he's shocked. He's like, gets hit in the head. Aidil comes into the world, we get hit in the head, like, what's going on over here? I'm struggling, I don't understand. There's so much pain, there's so much uncertainty, there's so much falchkeit. Where, where am I over here? Vayal and Sham. And he had to he had to go to sleep over there. Gaft Ibn Echting, you know why? Kivah Shemesh. The sun went down. The sun went down. Okay, Targum of us Taman, Ariel Shimsha. It's like a lotion of sleepiness. The Shemesh went down. Here we are. The, the sun is out. Vayachlem, and we're going to dream state. In a silamut of arts of Reshmegia Shemaima. This man is created, time and space is created. There is a ladder because our consciousness needed to wake up. After Tzimtzum, we went all the way down to the bottom, but now we had to wake up to how do we climb, go up there? How do we d- take something that is vast, something that is Dovic, something that comes from, from Atzman Sumuhus, something that comes from Chelag uh, Rekhem uh, Mamish, uh, uh, one piece with this thing, Creator, now that it's in separation. How do I teach him how to, to reach back? Because he's so always so bottle and mavutli, he's so surrendered. That he just goes inward. We we stay there. We didn't know we didn't know how to fight. We just this is it. This is Tachas We're just used to being David. So there's a dream. Sula of Arza. There's a ladder that stands in Arza. Malchus. Malchus is where we're at right now. Malchus Datzilus. Our this is where this is where we're, we're, we're connecting from. Vareisha Megia Shemayma. Vehine Malach Elikim Oylem Yerdem Boy. The Malach just go up and down, which we see our words and our. Praises my pain and my my happiness. The angels are bringing it up and down. This is we're starting to see. We're starting to be massive. What's going on over here? That there's a stalshul. There's a love. There's a communication. There's a higher. There's a higher source. There's home. There's something that you have once connected. You have no fear. You don't have to fear of nothing. You just feel it. Connecting to to our besamigdash tzion. Vin Hashem nitzvala v'yamrani Hashem. And I'll give it to you and your children. To you is to the super consciousness and to the children, which we are the offspring of that consciousness, of the void of Romitzchiyank, of that energy. You will have to be like Kafar Ord, says the Rebbe in, in the Sikh and the Agob. It was put in there. We're going to have to be like the earth. We're going to have to completely surrender. And then the Faratz Yom Vakir and Sufayn of Anagma, you're going to be scattered all over. And then the Nivrichi Bechal Kamush Kosadama. Because once you are going to offer an Aether, you connect to Malchus. Yeah, they're going to look like, look, 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 he's all the way down there, kicked to the corner, harassed, tortured, in pain. But all of a sudden, when you're in that squeeze, the Nivrichi Bechal Kamush Kosadama. Ubazarecha, because we're gonna. That's where. That's where you meet Kasa. That's where you go into Echida when you realize that everything is false. There is nothing real.
שלא יעזוב לך עד אשר אמא סיסא אס אשר דברתי לך. אבשטר טלזם, אנוכי says to Yaakov, tells us, I'm going to be with you. As you leave, as you leave Be'er Shalom, and you go into Charon, you're coming into 2020 in Velt, don't be scared, I'm with you. I'm not going to let you go. Are lo, es bekinach, es bekinach. The nest. I'm with you, I got you. Until you're going to do. So we have his hand, we have Mino is here with us. And then something happens. But he gets Yaakov Mishnase. He wakes up, Yaakov, Ekev. Wake up. There is an Ebishter, even in Velt, in this Choshech. Not only is there, is there an Ebishter. Like it's Enel Movali. He's realizing that even here, down there, in my, in my struggle, Taka, there is an Ebishter. Venoichi Leidati. Venoichi didn't know. Vayira. He's shaking to the bone. Vayom Raman Noira Makamazeh. How fakhti, how cray, how, how baffled, how much am I, you know, surrendered to this. Ain Zeh. One second, I just figured it out. Kim Bes Elikim. This is the base, the house of Elikim Teva. Just mislabish. When Oyer and Sof, when, when, when Atzmanus wanted to be mislabish in something that we should be able to see him and appreciate him, he had to create basically Kim, had to create Teva. But the exactly where you're at, where you're standing at that moment, in your squeeze, when it's the, the toughest and you can touch it, you can feel it, it's so physical, it's everywhere, it's in your food, it's in your taste, it's in your stomach, it's in your sleep. That is Shara Shemayim. That is the door where you open up and you go through to your Shara Shemayim. That is how you connect to your, to your Nakuda Panimis from inside. You know why? Because that forces me to a place, to a deeper place that I need to go deeper than my, than my struggle. I need to go deeper than my shortcomings, deeper than my judgments, my self-judgments. And what happens over there is Yitzchak, Avram Hill is Yitzchak, Yitzchak Asi with laughter, tonic built in mortgage. When I squeeze, when I can go dry, I need nothing. I go deeper because I have a mono, boom, that's where you find it. That's where you connect to the Shara Shaman, to the Anoichi. And who else but the Yid can, can do this because we have Bechira. And as the Maranam says once again, in, in, in parts of Shemur is that Bechira is Choyshech can only see can only see Bechira Choyshech can only see in the physical of the Bechira of what I choose but once I go higher than that once I change and I choose something else they can't see that Harayet they saw that Moshe Rabbein is going to come and is going to be like uh, it's going to be uh, the water is going to be punished by water is going to be uh, drowned. But what they couldn't see is that once he was put into the water, they couldn't see anymore. That there is another choice. There's another another manifestation. What's the lesson over here? The lesson, what, 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 what the Torah is teaching us here is that when I'm totally squeezed and I feel like I can't go anymore, I have the Bechira, Yid has the Bechira to go and choose that it's good. Just because, to find that Nakud the Torah, to find that no, nothing is going to happen, it can't touch me, it's just an illusion, it's to squeeze me to find the place of Amun and Betachim that I believe it's going to be fine, it's going to work out, and it does. As you already know. I just want to go back and try to explain a little better the, uh, the to go higher, to have Bechir, and go higher than, than my squeeze, because there's something called Tzura, which a tzura shape is in Zman, it's in time and space. In time and space, there's something, there's something that I can manifest and I can see and I can look into and they were able to see that in time and space that somebody like this is going to be in the water, that I can see my problem, I can see my, my future from that place. 
But once I go Lamaila Matamazman, then Klippa doesn't have doesn't understand that. Klippa does not can can't see Lamaila Tamazman because it's only in time and space does my problem exist. And that's where there's a unique. But if I go higher than time and space, where it doesn't make sense, that's Lamaila Matam Vadas, that's when I'm in a higher consciousness. Not the other way as Khoizak tell me as well, you need to understand this. If you don't understand this, then you're not gonna solve the problem. No. It's the other way around. Once I get to a place where it's like I don't understand, but I, I, I know it's good, it is good, and feel it, you start giving birth to that idea in your brain, bring it down into your heart, and then into your to, to, to pharynx, into your stomach, into your gut, into your side, your malchus, your peh, express it, talk positive, then Klippa Choshech can't see that. They, they don't understand how that works. Because it doesn't make sense. They're only in Zman and Makam. And this is. There's a ladder just for us to be able to start thinking how to work, how to grasp, because how to be in the Vekas. But not to get caught up in it, because it's just the ladder. It's, it's also the, um, the idea that understanding and seeing, having a connection to something higher is being able to look forward. Right? Like today, I'm looking at, I'm on my phone, I can go be on, on, a, on, a, phone, on a call, a video call with somebody in Israel. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking from here, going 5,000 miles. And that's the big deal, right? That is it. And if I... If somebody was to say, well, you don't need your you don't don't need your phone to do this, you can just be connected. It's like, yeah, but I'm not. Self self, I can't see the person. Well, that type of seeing is only clip. It was only created from Khoshik. That confused us thinking that in order for me to see, I need to be able to see from here, from here to, to, to Israel to be able to have that that image. But really, no. It is in my heart. It is in my connection. That's where it's at. It's in the hoiv. It's in the moment. Paris doesn't make Paris doesn't make money from the moment. He only makes money when he has me looking past and forward. We've been through this. But right now, it's waking up, waking up to the moment, waking up to the to the to the present moment. And what does that do to me when I'm up in the present moment? I'm starting to realize I'm connecting with a whole different consciousness. We can connect with a with our with, with who we really are. Kava Amuna, Kadusha, happiness, Shefa, abundance, no pain. The only way to get out of pain is to is to go into symptom to to bring myself back, to stop protecting myself for the next year, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's a bunch of it doesn't even exist, it's not even real. As you can see, you can go from one minute from Makotza Lakotza. So just zoom into the moment, get present with the moment. And this is the Archoiza that we want to learn from, from technology. We're not, we're, we're not to be where technology is and we're not to be. To find, this is, gonna, this is to find your home. Where am I? Why instead of connecting forward and connecting backward, connect to the moment? Oh, what does that mean? It means everything you're doing now, the opposite. Everything you do now has gotten gotten us nowhere. There's still stress. Nothing has been resolved. The only time it's resolved is when I actually sit with myself. Harai Shabbos, we just sit in absolute peace. And if you're not, then we gotta we gotta start that thing up. We gotta get that fire burning because that that's the ish. That's the besamigdus right there. So, um, have an awesome Parshish Vayetze, just even to be misbarred and to meditate on the latest Vayetze. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a free, it's just, it's uh, Nakudas, it's very, um, it's calming, it's refreshing, it's um, almost like rejuvenating. The Yaakov Halach, the Dark of Vayetze, Yaakov Vayetze, 
Yaakov Mebeyashava, we know we're coming from from Torah, we're coming from a very high place, Vyela Kharana. It's all part of the program. Go into the moment, tap into the moment and feel feel the feel the power, feel the um the confidence, feel the love, the connection. The connection, that's the word I'm looking for, the connection, the excitement in my teferis, in my stomach of Ayitza Yaakov, knowing that a higher conscience is my father and Tati is holding me, breathing me. Have an awesome Shabbos.